Final leg, back here to talk about the Bowerman Awards that just went down in Florida this year. Amazing six athletes that we had here as finalists, three on the men's side, three on the women's side, who had amazing indoor and outdoor seasons. We're gonna just talk about the finalists and then the champions who were crowned here. First off, we have Yannick Brown, the sophomore from Arkansas, who did amazing in the hurdles all season, capping things off with an NCAA championship in the 100 meter hurdles, running 12.40 seconds this year to become number two all time in the NCAA. She was also also part of the third place winning 4x1 at NCAA championships and also managed to get fourth place in the 200 meters running 22.40 seconds. That 100 hurdles and 200 meter double on one day actually is the fastest single day double for the 100 hurdles and 200 meters and it may not be significant. We may think that not a lot of people run it but the person who held that record before was Jackie Jordan Kersey and we know her accolades are amazing. So Yannick Brown, the sophomore from Arkansas, is one of the finalists. Moving on to Yanis David from Florida. She did amazing across the board this season in the jumps. She actually accumulated the most points at the NCAA championships, both indoors and outdoors, for any female athlete. In the triple jump, she managed to win the indoor NCAAs, and outdoors, she managed to win the long jump at NCAAs. She also finished second at the outdoor triple jump, and indoors, she finished third in the long jump. So really great championship performer there. She had a personal best of 14.35 meters in the triple jump, which moved her to number two all time in the NCAA. NCAA and in the long jump she set a personal best of 6.84 meters moving her to number seven all time in the NCAA. So Yanis David from Florida amazing performance at the jumps. Finally the Bowerman winner is Shakari Richardson the freshman from LSU. Amazing season that she had at the sprints. She went to the NCAA championships outdoors in the 100 meters she ran 10.75 seconds breaking the 30 year old NCAA record. Amazing performance moving her to number nine all time in the women's 100 meters and also was a world junior record in the event amazing performance just at the 100 meters she also got second place at the 4x1 as part of LSU's team there and she got second place in the 200 meters running 22.17 seconds moving her to number five all time in the NCAA and also is the second fastest world junior time only behind Allison Felix 22.11 seconds from all the way back in 2003 so Shakari Richardson from LSU absolutely dominating the sprints and showing that she is one of the great young sprint talents that's going to be making an impact in the sport. Now, moving over to the men's side. First, we have Divine Oduduru from Texas Tech, absolutely dominating the 200 indoors and the 100 and 200 outdoors. Outdoors first, he managed to win the 100 meter and 200 meter titles at NCAAs. He ran 9.86 seconds and 19.76 seconds, respectively, moving him to number two all time in both events. He also had the fastest single day double for the 100 and 200 meters at those NCAA championships. In addition, outdoors he managed to run sub 10 seconds and sub 20 seconds on three occasions on a single day only the second person in history to do it so really cementing himself not only as one of the greatest NCAA performers but one of the greatest sprinters all time when it comes to those 100 meters in addition indoors he managed to win the 200 meters at the NCAA championships and earlier in the season he ran 20.08 seconds moving him to number two all time in the indoor 200 meters so divine Oduduru, the finalist from Texas Tech next up we have Mondo Duplantis the freshman from LSU he was already the European champion last year but at his freshman season he absolutely dominated he managed to go to the NCAA championships indoors grab the title but before that he set the NCAA record at the pole vault jumping 5.92 meters huge performance at those SEC championships then he went outdoors and kept on rolling again at the outdoor SEC championships he set the NCAA record jumping six meters the first person in NCAA history to jump jump six meters that actually landed him as number three for the year this year then he went to the NCAA championships outdoors and only finished second but again only a freshman amazing performance for him setting NCAA records indoors and outdoors at the pole vault Mondo Duplantis from LSU finally the Bowerman winner is Grant Holloway from Florida he did amazing across multiple events but specifically those hurdles first indoors he managed to get the 60 meter dash title at the NCAA's running 6.50 seconds moving him to number 10 all time of the event he followed that up with an NCAA win at the 60 meter hurdles running 7.35 seconds breaking the NCAA and American record in the event he also complemented those two titles with a third place at the indoor long jump then when we got to outdoors he kept on rolling got to those NCAA championships managed to run 12.98 seconds in the 110 hurdles breaking the 40 year old NCAA record set by Nehemiah all the way back in 1979 so a huge performance 
for him there. He also was part of the winning 4x1 for Florida that broke the NCAA record running 37.97 seconds. So amazing NCAA career for Grant Holloway. He of course went on to win the world championships in Doha this year, but definitely cemented himself as one of the greatest hurdlers and all around athletes in the NCAA history. So again, your Bowerman Award winners, Shakari Richardson, the freshman from LSU, and Grant Holloway, the junior from Florida, definitely cementing themselves with amazing NCAA careers, showing that they are some of the greatest NCAA athletes ever, and they've both gone pro, showing that they're definitely going to have really strong and really bright careers ahead of them on the pro circuit. So make sure you guys comment below. Let me know if you think these were good picks for the Bowerman Awards. Make sure you guys like the video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. I'll be back again in the next video. Thanks.